All right, it is vacuum time, God damn it! And my waist is getting smaller, abs are getting deeper, and it's all coming together. So I'm getting excited, getting happy, but we gotta keep this shit going, man. Vacuums every fucking day. So here we go. Oh, fuck. Man. So, like I said, he's got to hurt. They're always going to hurt. It's never going to get, it's never going to get easier. It's never, if it's easy and you don't feel anything, you're not doing it right. So, that's the gauge you have to use to know if you're doing it right or not. You suck it so deep and hard that it fucking hurts. It's like agonizing pain. And holding your breath and having it tensed for that long Make sure you're out of breath. So um, this is what should happen. It's not about me being out of shape and I can't breathe. <laughs> it's honestly hard shit. So all right, here we go. Let's hit it again. Yeah, these, I mean, this is the best way to start your fucking day off. Get up, come in the bathroom, do your vacuums. Mentally, you see your waist is getting smaller, your abs are getting tighter. You know, it's just a great way to start the day off. The rest of the day, you're gonna be in a good mood, feeling good, progress is coming along. You know, it's it just, I'm feeling great right now. So I'm just saying that this is a great way to start your day. So here we go. God damn it, let's do it again. <laughs> so four sets we're doing so we started with three sets I'm already bumped it up to four sets so keep bumping it up you know we'll start holding it a little longer I'm holding it roughly between 10 and 15 seconds it's a long motherfucking 10 to 15 seconds seems like minutes seems like fucking hours no so here we go one more oh whew. Holy shit. But I'm telling you guys, these things work. And um, there's nothing better than this, getting the waist small. And being consistent, doing these on a consistent basis is going to make huge, huge differences in your waist. And uh, for me, it's all about getting that waist small, keeping the size. I'm slowly losing a little bit of size, but you know, the waist is getting so much smaller that you don't even notice it. So people actually tell me I look bigger. So I've lost like 25 pounds. <laughs> so, so anyway, guys, keep these up every single day, no excuses. And uh, you're gonna see the results. Within weeks, you're gonna notice huge, huge results. So anyway, guys, keep it up. Let's fucking do this. What is up? We are on our way to Gold's Venice for the second day in a row, and we'll be coming down here tomorrow. So we've been taking this fucking Venice trip every day. Right. It's a long ass fucking trip in goddamn traffic. That's true. <laughs> goddamn LA traffic, 405. Not fun. No, we have it easy, we're never in traffic, you know, because we don't gotta be nowhere, we don't gotta do nothing, so we're never in fucking LA traffic, but when we are, Oh my God, the worst. So we are on Venice Boulevard on our way to Gold's Venice. And um, this, basically Venice Boulevard, you take this, it'll take you straight to the beach. You will, you will drive straight to the sand on Venice Boulevard. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, it's an awesome place. Gotta love it. 
So we're gonna we turn right on Abbott Kennedy. Actually, we're gonna take a little shortcut, right, babe? We're gonna take that shortcut. Yeah. We're gonna do with all the traffic. Right. <laughs> Secret but, way. Yeah. But I'm uh, macking on some snacks. We got some buffalo jerky, right? Some fucking almonds and a goddamn monster. Ooh. <laughs> And I drink the monster, not because it fucking gives me an energy. This shit don't do shit for me. I need like 20, which you guys already know. But the orange one is so fucking good. I never even looked. Does this motherfucker have carbs and sugar, babe? Does it? I don't it think does. so. Really? 20 grams of carbs. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The second ingredient sugar. <laughs> I didn't even know that shit. Uh-oh. God damn. I wonder it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, beef jerky, fucking almonds. Actually, buffalo jerky, almonds, and a monster drink. As a goddamn snack. This is not count as a meal, by the way. It's a goddamn snack, and it is good. So, I don't know what it is, but I like to I like to eat when I drive. It's like a bad habit. Like, I like to fucking snack on food. It's kind of like when you watch TV, you know? You like to fucking eat. Right. You, know, you go to the movies, you gotta <laughs> get popcorn, you know, and... When we, when we watch TV, we eat, so now I fucking, I eat when I drive. Fuck, <laughs> next thing you know, next time we're having sex, baby, and look up and be fucking eating a goddamn sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? It goes with everything. Yeah. It does. Eating just makes everything better. I'll be your plate. Yeah, it makes the movie better, makes <laughs> fucking driving better. Fuck, who knows, you know? Might make sex a little better. You know? <laughs> Uh, if you can, if you can eat while you're having sex, then you're not having very good sex, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Seinfeld where George Costanza had that idea pop in his head because his two favorite things in the world is to eat and have sex. So he thought, well, what if I combine the two? You know, that would just be the ultimate. And he 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 tries he tries to eat and have sex without his girlfriend knowing. <laughs> Pretty fucking funny. You never wanted to, you didn't never really watch Seinfeld, right? Only when it was on TV, you know? I didn't really like, you know, put it on specifically. You know, if it was on TV and I, you know, teach the channel and... If the, if the controller wasn't in reach and you, you were stuck and you had to watch it, you watch it, <laughs> basically? No, not really. <laughs> you I mean, out of your way to watch it? it? It's okay. I mean, there were some good episodes there. They were pretty funny. You like it, right? Oh, yeah. It's probably my favorite, all-time favorite show. So, um, we're going to shoot Paulo. Mm -hmm. So, Paulo ended up placing six last night. So, six out of 21, which is really good. You know, it's pretty much his first year as a pro. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a fucking damn good placing. And, you know, my honest opinion is that, that, you know, he, he didn't peak and didn't hit his, you know, I think he could have been. You know, a little better. So that's a good sign, you know, because he wasn't at his best, at least in my opinion. I'm, you know, I'm never going to claim to be an expert. Um, so that's a good sign, you know, because I believe if he, if when he is at his best, you know, he's, he's, he's going to be hard to beat. You know, he's fucking, he's fucking got some insane genetics, insane muscle mass, you know, and uh, great structure, great symmetry. But um, it was a tough tough show it was a great fucking show and there were some great physiques in there and um um you know the it's crazy because the bodybuilding you know the talent is is starting to is starting to look better it's starting to good get good there's a lot of a lot of new really good talent out there coming out and um it makes it a lot more enjoyable and a lot more you know makes the show more enjoyable to watch you know when when the physiques are just out of control you know insane and, you know, definitely that was the case. And it's crazy is that the Arnold Africa was going on the same exact time. So they had two pro shows going on the same exact day. Action. What's up, everyone? Gold's Venice with Paulo the Freak the day after the California. And Paulo plays six. Yeah. And uh, you happy with that placing? I'm oh, pretty happy. It was a pretty stacked lineup. A lot, of, a lot of good guys in there. 21 guys total, you know, and a lot of big names there. So I'm pretty happy gonna get better from here on that yeah, was a, it was a big show it was a great show and um, you know he got first call out which is awesome you not you've never not got first call out, <laughs> so that's got to be a great feeling it is yeah so uh, so we went to a cheesecake factory last night and um, 
So we're going to... Are you going to keep eating or are you done now? You um, I had a good breakfast and I'm done now because I got Toronto coming up next week. So i got to get back to my diet. Yeah. But we should get a good pump here from all the carbs from last night, yeah. though. Show after show. Just boom, boom, boom. Non-stop, yeah. non-stop. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know how... You got to fly back. You got to stay in shape. Then you got to, you know... It's just it's crazy. Hey, man, whatever it takes, yeah, right? It's, it takes a fucking lot. People don't realize yeah. what it takes. <laughs> yeah. It takes a lot to fucking stay in shape. You know when you're traveling and shit so that's awesome so we're gonna go in here we're gonna do some posing we're gonna do some training and then we're gonna go grab a bite to eat afterwards yeah so, uh, so let's do this and quarter turn to your right and quarter turn to your right and quarter turn to your right And quarter turn to your right. And front double bicep. And front lat spread. Hands overhead abdominal. Side chest. And side try. And back double bicep. Flat spread. And face front. And most muscular of your choice. So, anyway, you must be awesome. how do we look? How do we look, goddammit? We look like a happy fucking couple. <laughs> we look happy? Smile, babe. I'm smiling. Oh, happy little couple. Look at the cute little couple that matches. It's so cute. <laughs> right? Is that what we are today? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go for the train.
Okay, Sarah and I decided to train some fucking back. So I got done killing calves. She got done killing glutes. We got together and we fucking killed back and had a great workout. So we started with front pull downs to the front of the chin, bringing it down, squeezing that shit. Stretching at the top, getting a full contraction, and feeling those lats work. Now, my main goal is making my back wider to make my waist look smaller. So this, in my opinion, is one of the best exercises to really give that back fullness, thickness, and width to make it look big. So that's what it's all about is having that V taper, and that's what I'm after. So I'm doing a lot of lat pull downs. A lot of lat work, trying to really bring my lats up. I'm aware that it's a weak point that I really need to bring up. So that's my goal at the time. And next on the list was seated rows. And on the seated rows, we went with a wide grip, which again is going to isolate the lats. And we're going to be using more lats and working the lats and continuing to make those lats bigger. So... When you pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, you're really working the thickness, the details in the middle back. And this exercise is really working the entire back. But I believe going wide just gives those lats a little bit more emphasis. And again, that's my priority is to make those lats wider. So Sarah, her back is perfect. <laughs> she doesn't need any more width or thickness. It's probably her best body part. So Again, I'm not so perfect. I need to fucking get my lats bigger. I'm aware of that shit, and I'm working on that shit. So, uh, And that's going to make my waist look even smaller, and that's the goal for me right now is to just have an incredible V taper, a small little waist, and still look big as fuck. So uh, this is the way, this is what it takes, and this is what I'm doing. So next, we're going to pull-ups. Wide grip, and again, we're isolating the lats just like the lat pull downs to the front. It's working those lats, working that entire back. And you really got to make sure you squeeze on top and get a good stretch at the bottom. Now, when you're using your body weight, it's really hard to be strict and contract those lats and get a good squeeze. So I prefer the, the weight, the weighted where you can take the weight off and you can actually really squeeze and contract and feel that back working. So that's just my preference. Um, of being able to get a better workout and being able to hit that muscle a little harder um, with a deeper contraction and really being able to isolate those muscles I want to work. Um, when you're just pulling your weight up, a lot of times, you know, you're not able to, to squeeze and contract and work the right muscles that you're trying to work. And it's the same with the bent over rows. Um, I like to do them on a Smith because I can control it. I can squeeze it. I can contract and I can really feel what part of the back I'm working and I can really isolate and squeeze. And when I'm using the free weights, it's more of a just, you know, heaving that heavy weight and I really can't get a good contraction squeeze um, or isolate and make my back the way I want it to be. You know, I'm trying to create, you know, a certain statue, piece of art, whatever you want to call it. I have a visual of what I'm trying to achieve and I have to be able to feel what I'm doing during the workout to know that I'm working the right part of the back. So very important. I will always be a bodybuilder at heart. You know, more about the physical rather than, you know, how much weight I can lift. I'm always more about how I look. Um, that's the most important. Next, wide grip pull downs behind the neck. Again, we're isolating those lats. I believe these work more of the upper lats, higher up to really give you that wide back. So for me, this really hits up under the armpits. So anyway, guys, that's it. Kill that shit. God damn it. Just got done training. God damn it. And we're driving around in circles. <laughs> we don't know where the fuck we're going. All right. Um, so we trained back and Sarah trained with me. We yeah. had a killer ass workout. So uh, did you have a good workout, babe? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I actually did calves by myself while well, she trained ass, of course. So half an hour calves, half an hour ass, and then we got together and trained back together. Look at that, perfect fucking scenario. Right? Perfect fucking scenario. Couples out there, that's it, man. You can't get a better scenario than that. You go train calves while she trains ass, and then you guys get together and train a body part together. Mm -hmm. Then, 
after you trained back together, I went and trained arms, and she went and did a half an hour of step mill, mm-hmm. stairmaster, whatever the fuck. <laughs> and um, so that's like, what what better scenario could you ask for than that? And yes, I like to use the word scenario. I use it all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think anyone else you hear use that word scenario but I use it like a motherfucker I've never heard it before it's a fucking habit it's a fucking habit I use that word all the time I don't know where it came from but perfect scenario Mm -hmm. half an hour ass half an hour calves then we get together we train back together for what about an hour and 15 minutes yeah and then you go on the step mill for half an hour, and I train biceps and forearms for half an hour. Yeah. What the? Look at that. Perfect workout. Mm-hmm. Now imagine you do that shit every day. So tomorrow, I do calves, she does ass, and we train shoulders together. Right? right. And then she goes on the step mill for half an hour, and I train tries by myself. Right. Because she ain't really trying to get her arms any bigger. She's not really, she's not really like, you know into, you know, competing in the gun show and walking with <laughs> big-ass guns. You know, that's not really her, uh, her her goal, her future goal. Nope. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hitting double bicep shots in the mirror doesn't really turn me on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it doesn't really do much for me. Hey, hit another double bicep. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love it when you hit that double bicep shot. Right. But, you know, for his, how does that saying go? For his, his own, or, you know, everyone has their thing. Right. You know? I don't know. I guess it's like having a, a best friend that you work out with, like a training partner, but you, you can fuck too. So, <laughs> I guess that's another way to look at it, but, yeah, I'm about, I'm about tits and ass. Right. Yeah, I don't really need you to be showing me your guns or your lats or your fucking quads or your fucking calves or. Right. I can care less, to be honest. <laughs> Just show me that ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Show me those tits. Show me that ass, and we are ready for a good time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen uh, what the fuck was that movie? Oh my god. Whenever I go to say something, I fucking forget it. It's a terrible fucking problem I have. Turn the club. What the fuck? <laughs> Every time. Anyway, it's uh, the Wayan brothers. Uh-huh. Right? They're the ones that are in the White Chick. Yeah. That movie. So funny. Like. <laughs> so he's uh, he gets his girlfriend. He dresses her up in his football uniform. Oh, oh, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, baby, here. Put- Oh, put, that, put it's, the shoulder pads on. It's, oh, it's, oh, it's, put the helmet on. It's a, it's a scary movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then he's like, come here. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, okay, your turn, baby. Yeah. And he wants her to get on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a scary movie. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> we should watch it tonight. The more, the more she dressed up like a football player, the more he got turned on. Right. We should watch <laughs> it tonight. <laughs> Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah. Which one was it? Though? There's like 20 of them. I know. There's like fucking five. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll figure out which one it is. And oh, oh some funny ass shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the fucking perfect workout fucking regimen. Right. Perfect. That's a lot of, that's like, that's like over two hours a day. We're hitting like two hours and 15, 20 minutes a day. Mm-hmm. So we stick to that shit. That's some good ass shit. And then I'd hit my little bit of cardio in the morning. You mm-hmm. hit cardio in the morning, so you're hitting cardio twice. Yeah. You know, people people ask how we can eat ice cream and fucking pizza and whatever. Well, fucking work our fucking asses off in the gym. But, yeah. But it's not work, it's fun. Mm-hmm. I fucking, fucking love going to the gym. I could be there all fucking day. You know, I enjoy that shit. And it's, uh, it's our home away from home, right? Yeah, second home. No wonder why all this. Oh, we are so at big. Trader Joe's, goddammit. Woo! And people that live in a place where there's no Trader Joe's, I feel sorry for you. Trader right. Joe's is a shit. But we just we're just coming for for basically nuts and jerky. Yeah. That's it. That's all we're gonna get. It's <laughs> fucking almonds, fucking cashews, beef jerky. macadamia nuts, and beef jerky, turkey jerky. That's it, right? Yeah. That's all we're coming for. Mm-hmm. 
but they have the best nuts and the best fucking jerky. Oh, yeah, fuck. So fucking good. There's a fucking cart in the parking place I pick. Out of all your parking place, pick the one with the goddamn cart. Of course. Of course. It's just fucking typical. Shake time, goddammit. I forgot to mention it. Shake time, almost done with this shit. <laughs> Babe, your boobs are so big, you have a cleavage. When My what? You, when you do like... First of all, <laughs> I don't have boobs. God damn it. Do you want me to... These do, are not boobs. Do you want to borrow... God damn it. These want, are not boobs. <laughs> do you want to borrow one of my, my own bras, babe? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How'd you know my secret fantasy? I want to wear your bra and I want you to wear my underwear. <laughs> You ready? Honey. Let's do this shit. Let's yeah. go get our shit. <laughs> Nuts and jerky. Okay, there they are. Hey, hey. Oh. That was fun. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got smoked. <laughs> smoked by Brian. <laughs> I haven't won a race since first time. Mr. I got Brian to... Cage and his vet. <laughs> so now we're going to have to have a wrestling match to prove the romantic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> right on. So, cool, brother. So, what do you need? You need some fucking kill it? Um. 5150, some real food. You got that all that, huh? I got everything. Can you make any new flavors of real food? Yeah, we're coming out with uh, chocolate. Like a yeah? chocolate, uh, kind of like, like you know, how I put the cocoa pebbles in the shakes. Yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be that flavor without cocoa pebbles. Really? Yeah, it's good. Oh, man, yeah, that's the best stuff out there. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I, mean, I live off, when I, go, I was just in Mexico for five days. Uh -huh. That's all I live off of is I make a bunch of real oh, the food. Oh, the real food, I know. Real food, watch make real food and egg whites and make it's pancakes perfect, out of it perfect. because. Uh, I mean, I'll still bring food in there. I'll freeze it, but if they catch it, I'll throw it away. Right. Because I can't bring meat. I mean, oh. I've, got thrown, I've got 10 pounds of food thrown away once. Oh, my God. But uh, if I make the egg whites and real food pancakes, it looks like it's, you know, wheat flour. Oh, So okay. they will let me ah. slip in. So, you don't know. What, were you in the sand down there? There was sand on the ground. Yeah. Though, too. Little, little, Fucking yeah. sand. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, what bit. the fuck? <laughs> like, I mean, because if it wasn't for the sand, I mean, I hate the sand. Yeah, yeah, dude, I would have smoked you. <laughs> that fucking sand down there fucked me up. Right? right? Excuses, excuses are like assholes. <laughs> All right. All right. God damn it. <laughs> What's up, god damn it? It is motherfucking food time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know what that means? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, all it takes is one time. <laughs> one time. Fuck, take that license away. Right. From here. Right. Why do you, babe, why do you, 
Why do you coax me into doing stupid shit like that? You always <laughs> fucking get me to do shit like that. Right? Come on, Rich. Do it. Do it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. Go fast. Go fast. You make me do stupid shit, babe. Come on. Bring out like the little fucking little, devil, little sixteen-year-old kid in me. Ah, uh, a grown adult, an old motherfucking man. <laughs> Stop getting me to do this stupid shit. <laughs> All right, we are going to get some food. Yeah. Starving. Me too. And my weight is still going down. Still. Daily. The keto is still working. That's there's good. There's a cop right there, god damn it. Where? Uh-oh. Oh. Days. Uh-oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and so the keto is still working. So I'm going to keep doing it, but... Everyone giving you a heads up that the keto will eventually plateau. And from my experience, people, I only do this out of experience. So from my experience on the keto and my body is it it gets me super lean, super quick. No diet gets me leaner, quicker. But to get bodybuilder lean, like, you know, shredded lean, you keto will not take me to that level. Um, it will get my muscles flat. It will get rid of my body fat, but I will not have that ripped lean, you know, contest, you know, shape kind of leanness, you know, and just from my experience in my body, it just, it won't do it. So I will have to switch from keto over to the, you know, basic bodybuilder contest diet, you know, with lower carbs, rotating the carbs, keep my carbs low though. Because if I, you know, if I introduce high carbs, I'm just going to blow the fuck up, you know, and be back to 300 pounds. So I got to keep the carbs low. But eventually I will be adding in a little bit of car, a little more carbs, and I will be doing the bodybuilder, you know, basic bodybuilder, you know, diet, rotating the carbs. Probably, you know, my high day will probably be maybe 80 grams. My low days, you know, will be 40 grams, you know, very, very low. Um, but that will allow me to get sharper and even leaner. And, uh, so when I plateau, which will be coming up soon, um, I'm getting pretty lean, but I'm looking flat. So I'm not looking as lean as I actually am because my muscles are flat. And I don't know a lot of people, I don't think are aware of what that actually means, what the word flat means. And if your muscles are flat, it can actually make it look like you're not in as good a shape as you are because your muscles are flat. So you don't have that hard, you know, granite type look, your veins aren't, you know, huge. And, um, you know, your, your muscles are more soft and your veins are kind of faded away. And even though you don't have body fat and you are lean, you don't have that, you know, that ripped look. So, you know, once you introduce the carbs back in slowly, your muscles will slowly fill out and you know, you'll get that, that lean ripped, you know, shredded look. And, um, you know, and I just got to be careful because, uh, as soon as I do that, my body will want to fucking grow. You know, as soon as I put carbs back in, my fucking body is going to want to fucking grow like a motherfucker. Cause that's what it does. It wants to be big. So, um, but I'll, I'll keep you guys, I'll let you guys know when that's going to happen. So, but I'm still in the eighties. Um, but I'm in the low eighties, you know, so I can't wait till I get in the fucking seventies. That's, you know, that's fucking, that's down for me. Um, but you know, my favorite is the sixties, you know, like when I get, get around two sixty, that's where I like to be. So that will, uh, that'll probably be in another couple of weeks. And that's probably when I'll be probably when I'm in the sixties is when I'll be changing the diet. You know? And that's going to suck. Fucking bodybuilder diet sucks shit. I fucking hate it. Oatmeal, egg whites, chicken, fucking rice, fucking. <laughs> and when you're, see, see people, when you're on, when you're on low carbs and you're not taking in fats, that's when you feel like shit. You know, mm-hmm. as long as you're taking in, whether it be fats or carbs, if you're taking in enough, you won't feel like shit. You know, because you have an energy source. And the the thing is, you can't do both. You can't take in a lot of carbs and a lot of fats. You're gonna get fucking fat. So, you know, you choose one or the other and the typical bodybuilder diet is carbs and keto is fats. 
And if you're taking in a good amount of fats on the keto, you know, you feel fucking incredible. If you're taking in a good amount of carbs on a bodybuilder diet, you feel incredible. Um, you know, so it's when you're on the bodybuilder diet and you drop your carbs down low and you're not taking in fats, that's when you feel like shit. And, uh, I'm sure anyone out there, everyone out there who's competed knows what I'm talking about. You know, when you're, you're doing your fucking cardio and your carbs are low and just like, why the fuck am I doing this to myself? <laughs> it's like torture. But um, but that's that's where I'll be. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how long I deal with that shit. I might, you know, again, I got to get to 240. I put it out there, so I got to fucking do it. So, you know. But sometimes that's why I put shit out there, because it's kind of my way of having to fucking do something that I might not want to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> so... You know, that's why I think most people compete is they compete because it's a goal they put out there. They told their family, they told their friends, they told, you know, so they're not going to fucking back out and not do it, you know, and they're not going to show up on stage looking like shit. Well, I guess some people do, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. but you know, the one thing we got to realize that a lot of us don't realize is that sometimes when you see someone at a contest and they look like shit, you know, bodybuilding standards, we don't know what they look like before they started. So they might look pretty fucking incredible compared to how they look when they started, you know? So that's something I think we all need to keep in mind, you know, is that, you know, some of these people, you know, who knows they could have started dieting and they might've lost 80 pounds, you know, and they have loose skin and, you know, they're not full, they're flat and this and that. And that's why they look like shit. But, you know, it's, it's all about, I think it's all about, you know, what kind of shape you got yourself in, how much you accomplished, you know, not really so much compared to the other athletes because, you know, you got guys with great genetics and, you know, you got guys with shitty genetics and maybe it's the first contest, so on and so forth. Anyway, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I know I'm hungry. So when I'm hungry, I fucking talk about a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> so we're, uh, we were going to go to Cheesecake Factory, but. I don't know. I just didn't feel like dealing with the fucking ordering on the phone and driving there and, you know, right. fucking all that bullshit. I didn't, want, I didn't want to deal with it. So we're going to the habit <laughs> somewhere new. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, is the room, the room flavor still open? I think, uh, let me see. Oh, they, they close. Oh, they close in one minute. Mother, oh, look, they're already closed. Oh, shit. Wait. Maybe, maybe they close at 10. I th- they close at 10. Oh, shit. Yeah, look, we're, by the way, we're on time today. We're not running late. Right. We got a whole hour before the habit closes. So we're, that's why we're <laughs> just kicking it. We're not stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to run out of gas. It's all good. Yeah. Do we, do we have ice cream at home? Yep. It's all good. <laughs> right? Everything's good. Good to go. Yes. Woo. Hell yeah. So what you going to get? You're going to get two or one? Um, I think, I don't know. I I am starving. So, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> so last night, Sarah ordered her usual two double burgers. Yeah. And got went and got fucking ice cream. And she didn't fucking eat anything. She fucking fell asleep with the burgers on the fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling and bad. Then, we got up this morning, and guess what Sarah had for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> My burgers. <laughs> Two motherfucking double fucking burgers from the habit for breakfast <laughs> that had been sitting in the bed all fucking night. Yeah. <laughs> that we fucking had sex on top of, and they were, who knows what the fuck. Because <laughs> I know I kicked them, because I heard them. <laughs> fuck was that <laughs> the bed that sounds like that I was like oh it's her burgers from last night <laughs> you know the next thing I know you fucking look over and you're eating your fucking burgers <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit is that yeah I was feeling bad last night I know I felt bad for you yeah you were feeling sick you threw up man yeah what the fuck I know Were the burgers right? Yeah, yeah. they were right. Because remember, he fucked up and he said the avocado. And <laughs> I know they were like avocado. You were like, what? No, oh, that's a stupid shit last night. <laughs> it was like some new guy, right? Never seen him before. Yeah, yeah, shit, all fucked up. It was not the gay guy. 
You shouldn't say that on film, baby. He watches our videos. You yeah, might be but offended. no, but well, how do you know he's gay? Because what I'll, makes you say he's gay? By the way, he talks. Oh, so if you talk a certain way, that means you're gay. Well, Is that he's, what you're trying he's, to say? he's very feminine. Maybe he's feminine. He's straight. Oh well, but maybe maybe he wants to be my friend. I always wanted a gay friend. You know, like oh hey there, girlfriend. You know. <laughs> I've had a lot of gay friends. Yeah. But not like that. They didn't talk to me like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always on a gay friend. They're so funny, especially the ones that are, like, really flaming, you know? They're so funny. Mm -hmm. You know? Some of that does my makeup and stuff, you know? <laughs> Shopping with her. Right. Perfect. Right. Hello, how are you all? Can I get two double charburgers? with? Would you like cheese? Uh, yes, please. And can I add bacon to both of those? And they're, they're both lettuce wraps. Sure. One moment, please. Sorry, I'm just getting the order. Sure. Thank you. Two of them. Lettuce wrap with bacon. Everything on them. No. Uh, no, no pickles and no onions. Okay. And that was two of them, right? Yes. Okay. And then can I also get? A double mushroom burger. Sure. And double Swiss cheese. Double mushrooms. Okay. Wrapped in lettuce. And can I add bacon to that one also? Okay. And can I get a Caesar salad with tri-tip? Okay. With extra Parmesan cheese and no croutons. Okay. And two large diet sodas. Okay. And that'll be it. So it's two double chars, lettuce wrap with bacon, no onion, no pickle, a mushroom char lettuce wrap, double with extra Swiss, extra mushroom with bacon, and then a Caesar salad with tri tip, extra parmesan, and no croutons. Yep. And then to Diet Coke. Two total 3618 at the window seat. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh shit. Wham! I'll smack it like that. Woo! 618. Awesome. Here's your double mushroom and your salad. 3618. Oh, man. I just dropped my money down there. Motherfucker. You think you can grab it? Yeah. Let me see. It's down there. Yeah, I need to. You know what? It's okay. I just give her 40s. I mean, I'll just give her. It's okay. I'll just pay with 20s. It's just I had exact change. I just dropped it down there like I'm a fucking idiot. I can't see it. It's down there. It's like oh, way shit. down there. Oh, yeah. That's uh, okay. Sorry, I dropped the money between the seat. <laughs> Thank you. Doink. <laughs> oh, that's part of it, goddammit. It's part of it. Part of it, yeah. I really? The shit really? <laughs> oh, here. Oh, all right. A dollar. <laughs> uh, there's more, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> A dollar. Uh huh. Let me see. Do you want uh, to sorry. try to get we'll the get rest? It. No, we'll get it later. <laughs> <laughs> Anything on the side? No. Uh, no. Can you keep the receipt for me? Yeah. All right. Thank you much. So we don't we don't have to go to the grocery store. No. You mean uh, 7 Eleven? Yeah. No. Wow. Is that everything? Whoa, no. That's everything? Yeah? yeah. Oh, wow. All right. That was fast. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. Do you want to take up everything or just. Uh, we'll take our chances and then be pissed oh, off. Oh, shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, we'll take our chances and then be pissed off. Right? Oh okay, yeah, so we're just heading home then, right? Yep. Oh, there's a car! God damn it! I had that banana split last night. How was ben it? Jerry, wasn't that good? Not? Really? Not as good as I remembered it. Oh, we need to go to get the new one that Katie told me about. Oh, well, uh, did you call to see if they have it? 
Uh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna it check. It was at Walmart, right? Yeah, she said it was at Walmart. Hold on, I'm gonna check. It's it's peaked on. Oh, let me. I'm gonna. It's sticky buns. Oh my God. Let, let me see. She sent me a picture. Sticky buns with pecans. Let me see. And here's uh, Katie. Uh, let me see. Katie Slaughter, what's up, girl? Right. She told us about this. Look, she sent me a picture. Pecan sticky buns. So this is uh, buttery brown sugar um, ice cream with pecans. Sticky, um, sticky, hold on. Sticky bun dough. A cream cheese and a cream cheese frosting swirl. Oh, shit. Yeah, Look at that. Good. Woo! You're not supposed to have it, though. You're not supposed to have the complex carbs and ice cream, babe. God damn it! <laughs> I, did, I, I, I did not hear that. No, I don't give a fuck. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Okay, hold on. I can't barely see this shit. I gotta zoom in. Woo! We'll call and see if they fucking have it before we. Because I'm not going unless you call. Okay, I'm you, gonna. You know, you know, we don't need to get it tonight, do we? No, it's fine. I'm I'm gonna check. Yeah, so yeah, she told us about this. She's texted me a picture of this. This beautiful thing. <laughs> this is like, oh my god, I'm so it's excited. It's gonna be similar to the Cinnabons. What kind of ice cream is in the Cinnabons? Is it caramel ice cream? Yeah, but and this is buttery brown sugar no, ice sounds, cream. Yeah, that sounds better. Woo! With pecan sticky bun dough. A cream cheese frosting swirl. Oh my god, this is like. And it says here, limited batch. Yeah, I don't know about the pecans, though. Do you like pecans? Are pecans they... is really not my favorite thing, honestly, but just, you know, yeah, the. Just, it, might, it might all go together. Right, just because it says it, buttery brown sugar ice cream. Oh my god. Woo. Yeah, pecans are not really my favorite um, nuts, but I think all this together is probably really good. Yeah. Because of, like, how the ice cream is and everything, you know? It sounds like heaven in a... Oh. So <laughs> fucking good. I know. When she sent me the picture, I was like, oh, I just died. <laughs> yeah. They, they have like... They, they do the ones and they're like temporary. Mm -hmm. And they're really temporary. They take them away forever. It's like, so They weird. had one that was a Willie Nelson. It was Peach Cobbler. Uh-huh. Oh, that shit was good as fuck. Peach Cobbler, babe. I don't think I... You know I've... what Cobbler is? Oh. oh man, it's so good. What's that? And they had another one that the oatmeal one I told you about. It was, ah. I can't remember what it was. It was some kind of oatmeal something, and uh -huh. that that is probably that's probably my all time favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream. But oh really? It was really rich, so it was one of those ones that you gotta you can't have every fucking time. You know, you gotta oh, yeah. be in that right mood for something really rich. Right, it's yeah. probably something that I would like because I like oh, everything really rich. Yeah, that shit was that shit was so good. That's right. probably that was probably the best all time Ben and Jerry's. Oh yeah, fucking, I can't remember what it was called oatmeal something. That shit was so good. They that took it away. Good. That's weird. Yeah, they'll bring it back. I think. I hope. <sighs> oh shit! God damn! God damn it! I should have went. Right? right, because there's, there's no, no one, one around. Here. Nobody around for miles and miles and miles. <laughs> God damn it. Right? Oh, Jesus. And then we are alone here. Oh, my God. Why did I stop? Because there, if it became typical, there would be police somewhere hiding. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh, we never even... Remember the other night we fucking... So look and listen to this. I fuck... This is the truth. This is the honest God truth. I fucking run out of gas... Yeah, I ran out of gas. It was like fucking a month ago. And I'm stopped, like, up here in the middle of the street, blocking the street. And Sarah says, says, oh, the security the security guys are coming over here. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, brother. So the security comes over and they park and they get out of their car and they come over. And in my head, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you know. So they start they start saying, you know, hey, you know, you, it's not a good idea to have your car you know, whatever, Walking whatever, and so I, like, start being a smart ass. you know, like, <laughs> oh, okay, I better move it real quick, you know, and shit, and then they're like, they're like, you know, well, no, because this and that, and I'm like, well, I said, maybe you better call LAPD and, you know, have have a, four cars come out here and make sure that everything's okay, you know, I'm just, like, talking, I'm just being a fucking idiot, 
And then it ends up these guys are fucking LAPD. Right. And then I say, babe, they are the police. I'm sitting here talking <laughs> shit like an idiot because she told me they were security at first. And they ended up being cops. Oh, my God. I felt like a fucking <laughs> dipshit. <laughs> Oh my god! So funny, right? Yeah. Hey, What's guys. up, brother? How you doing? Thanks, man. Good night, All right, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Jeez. So funny. Yeah, I thought they were um, security guys at first, but they they were like flashing the flashlights in my eyes, and I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah, security don't usually do that. I know. I didn't know, and and then and then. Um, you started talking shit to them, and I was like, and then I looked, you know, real close, and I saw they were the police, and oh. I didn't say anything, and then you were like, oh, you better call the cops, or something, and I'm like, babe, they are the cops, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what, oh, like, you're like, ah, <clears throat> so, yeah, so sorry, guys, uh, <laughs> what do you say at that point, <laughs> you were like, such a smart ass, and then all of a sudden, like, <clears throat> Sorry guys. So then, <laughs> so then Pedro yeah. had just left my house, the pit Pedro. So he left my house. So I called him, I said, Pedro, you have to do us a favor and go get me some fucking gas. <laughs> gas. So he goes and gets me gas, comes back to the car and with the gas can. So I go and I'm fucking putting gas in my car. Well, I didn't realize it, but I put my phone on the hood of my car <laughs> while I was putting gas in the car. So then I say goodbye to them and what thanks a lot, whatever. They take off. I get in the car. I fucking drive away with the <laughs> phone on the hood of my car. <laughs> so then we get to the fucking habit and we're sitting there. No, we go to get gas mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it hits me. Where's my phone? I'm looking for my phone. I can't find it. And I tell her, I'm like, where's my phone? Right. She's like, I hope you didn't leave it on your car when you get. I'm like, oh shit. So then my phone is somewhere in the street. From there to the habit somewhere, right? And so, what do I do? We end up going and getting food. We don't go get my phone. <laughs> like idiots, because the habit was going to close. Right. So then we're driving back looking for my phone, and I say, oh, shit, I hope I don't run it over. Right when I say that, boom, boom fucking run my phone over. What, what's that? You, you, oh, you, my God. We didn't get that shit on tape. So that's what I'm talking about. We do shit all the time that's crazy-ass, funny-ass shit. We didn't get that shit on tape. Right. And I was like, God damn it, we didn't get none of this on tape. Fuck. <laughs>